This is just another example of how the images reflect the screens in our logic. Here we see the three sharks of Finding Nemo. Chum, Bruce and Anchor. Now the thing is that their position on the screen reflects their character. Bruce is a reflection of the inner square, Chum of the spiral and Anchor of the outer rectangle. For example Chum's nose ring appears to be a fish hook. The fish hook is a reflection of the spiral center which hooks up things out of the inner square. Bruce is shaped like a giant square and Anchor's head is shaped like a rectangle. Even the swimming of the sharks is a reflection of the inner logic. Each shark emphasizes one of the three compartments of the inner logic. Bruce again plays in the middle, swims away emphasizing the inner square. Chum swims away while emphasizing the spiral center. Also he swims along the line of the spiral. Anchor swims in such a way that his rectangular head becomes a vertical rectangle which reflects the vertical outer rectangle. Also the sharks leave the screen in an order that reflects the inner logic. It's things going from the inner square through the spiral center to the outer rectangle. So we see Bruce, the inner square, touching Chum, the spiral, and then swims into Anchor, the rectangle. Also the return of Dory here is a reflection of the screens in our logic. Anchor reflects the outer rectangle, therefore he is the one who gets Dory back inside the screen. Anchor has the quality to be both in and outside the screen. With one eye he can be outside the screen and with the other eye inside the screen. And right at the moment Anchor's left eye goes from outside to inside the screen, Dory appears on screen. It's just another example of how the images reflect the screens in the logic. Anchor reflects the outer rectangle, therefore he has the capacity to be both in and outside the screen. So in short, Anchor sees both. And that's exactly what we see here, for example, in Stanley Kubrick's Fear and Desire. Lieutenant Corby asks, you see boat. You see boat? Which sounds like the question, you see both. At the moment, Lieutenant Corby speaks out the words, you see both, we have to pay attention to Private Fletcher at the outer right, who's half in, half out the screen. When Lieutenant Corby says, You? Private Fletcher has his right eye inside the screen and his left eye outside the screen. When Lieutenant Corby says, See? Private Fletcher's left eye has moved inside the screen. And at the moment, Lieutenant Corby says, Boat? Private Fletcher looks into the screen with both his eyes. So again, these are just examples which show that images are reflections of the screens in the logic. Also, it seems to be that the film directors are conscious of this phenomenon. Why position a hammerhead shark in such a way that his rectangular head resembles the outer rectangle? This image here in Finding Nemo could be seen as a conscious reflection of the screen's inner logic. What does this say about the directors in general? Do we have to take Jack Nicholson's words literally when he says about Kubrick? What I love about his work is they are completely conscious. 